People in England drive just as bad as in Greece, Romania, Italy, don't. They're just more polite. Yes, yes, the people, how are you? So, you thought about moving to England because it's a good idea, or you want to study here, or you have family here, or you want to work here. Either way, you are going to have to eat here. So today, upon your request, how much does a weekly food shop cost in the current economical climate in the UK in 2022? Let's find out. No, we are not going to Lidl. No, no, we are going even cheaper. We are going to Aldi. How do you feel? In a oh my god! So we're here, Aldi, one of, I guess, the cheapest, more accessible ones. They get this stuff from local producers from the UK, which means prices are cheap because import fees are very, very low. Anyway, you want to see a cool trick? Super cheap skate trick. Come on. You see this key? This is a brown house key. But there we go. Key, man. So if you don't have a pound, it's all good. Don't worry. Hey, question. Do we have the actual shopping list? That's your question. Uh, yeah. We got the list. Okay. Also, say hello to Aisha. A new addition to the Chanel. Maybe. Stop eating. Maybe. Listen, Mujer, we got some things. Can you read my shopping list, actually? Uh, Boron, juice, onion, milk, steel, vice, Ice cream, then chocolate, like egg. Steak, not steel. Vice, you mean rice, Nile Haram. Bacon. <laughs> Yo, learn to read. That's right. What kind of steak do you want? It's a good question. Like, do you want posh steak? Do you want cheap steak? Do you want good? 450. And it comes with two, two chops. It's genuinely a good deal anywhere, but you won't find it in Sainsbury's, not in White Shows, certainly not in Morrison's. You're feeling near yourself. You. Oh. Well, we're doing a cheap shop, so what's good and cheap? The corporate word for it is cost effective. Ooh. It's one kilo for 135 versus half a kilo for 45p. So this is still a better deal. Is it good? We will find out later. This is not on the list, but yo, we need some olives always. Olives. 169. Olives, expensive everywhere in the world. And you forgot bacon, the essence of breakfast. Ten pack of smoked bacon. This is like quintessential British. 169. <laughs> 169. <laughs> juice. 125 for your standard orange juice. Smooth. Sometimes it, it, it's with bits. Milk. You have your standard four pint tub of milk for 185. That is 2.27 liters because UK operates in a weird imperial system. Pretty standard. This is the price you'll find it at anywhere. Triple treat, Mujaja. Oh my god. Stuff. <laughs> and as far as branded chocolate that we all know goes, we have your Snickers, we have your Mars, your standard pack of four bars for 150. That is a deal. That is. It's not a good deal, but it's a deal nonetheless. That's why we're coming in places like this, one, because they have deals on. We still need to buy rice. Mm-hmm. You mean vice. I mean rice. Vice. Learn to read. Learn to write. Yo. Rice, another one. Like, I, I like to, you, you can buy bags of rice of like a pound. If you're too lazy to actually cook your rice, which I am, you can buy a pre-made for still a pound, but less quantity. In the UK, is the one place on earth that I found where you can buy a singular potato when it has its own price. 20p per potato. Whether it's nice and chunky, whether it looks like a butt, whether it looks like a little heart. Peppers as well, a pound 50 for a pack of three. These are the most commonly found in the UK. Sometimes you get a green one, a red one, a yellow one. The day we have an orange and a yellow. Very useless information. What else? Garlic. How much was it? 79p. Is that a good deal? Ice cream, dark chocolate. <laughs> Can Central, you know, if you're a student. And then you need a kidney. You could find some right here. In a can. Pasto Italiana. These ones will be more expensive, but anything else that is like local label, cheap. 
cheap as coffee nescafe original four pounds fifty for this is this worth it the coffee seems to be expensive everywhere in the world Work like a charm, told you. Oh, crisps. They have Ted face. Or as we used to call them in Romania, pom bear. Oh, hello bear. How much is that, Despi? It's 12 for 12 pounds, so one pound each. So this is totally worth it. You got your Fantas, your Pepsis, your Colas. There are alternatives do exist, like fake Fanta. Fanta, two liters for 55p versus real Coke, which is two pounds 75 for 1.7 liters. Me personally, I like squash, an intense sugar intake. This is concentrate, so you just add water to it and you make your own juice. This is like a pound for one liter. Colgate, 250. Shampoo, 150, 140, same as everywhere else. Capsules for when you have the cold, 150 each box, same as literally everywhere. Oh my God. And there we have it, a week's shop for two people for 50 pounds and 18p. Now you might think that's not necessarily cheap, but this is seven days worth of food and toilet paper and cleaning products and a little bit of alcohol. Hope that answers some questions. Inflation wise, because that was the beginning of the video, I feel like last year before the Russian war, I would have paid around 38 pounds for all of this out of memory because this is what I usually buy on a week's basis. So 12 pounds up, what is that? That's about, I'll put actual numbers on the screen because I can't think right now. But nonetheless, hope this has answered your questions. I need to get my key back. When, when, if you do this, don't forget to get your house key back. Check out this burger beast. It is uh, the best thing I've ever gotten for my birthday. Because uh, that's it, I am cocooned. Yo, listen, thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it useful for all those of you who are moving to the UK now or are considering making a move towards the UK. This is one out of quite a lot of videos that I hope to be making about life over here. And if you have recommendations or questions or ideas on what videos I could showcase, then let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, click that bell thing for them updates, and follow me on all of the social media, at TV. Next few videos are from the road, because I am off to Amsterdam, Atlanta, and Amsterdam again. All right, I'll see you next week. Letters!